The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, folks, we're going to change the uh, format here just a little bit because I had uh, about six emails from folks last night wanting to sell the market. And they asked me my opinion about where to sell it. And I said, well, you're, I said in there, I said, look, we went up and we made new, new highs last night at uh, 4408. In the in the uh, Dow, uh, the e mini S and P, we made a higher high in the uh, the also in the Dow Jones, and I said the only way that you could play it with any degree of accuracy is to sell the first three eight two retracement if the market is bearish, and if it's bearish, then you might have a chance. So let's take a look. What I did, I decided to look at the Dow Jones. So I'm going to bring this up here. And bring it up on a very short-term basis. There it is. There's the. There it is right there. There was the high. Okay. So the idea was is to sell the first 382 retracement that came in here that you can see. Now you can see here we had one right here. There was your first really big retracement. Okay. And so what you want to do is you mark it from your high down to your low, and we went right up to the exact 382 retracement. And then we came all the way down here. That's almost a thousand dollars, and now we are looking at something that you just get a chance to do once in a while, and while it's live and working, is to see it happening again. So what we're going to do now is we go from the high. This is what we're going to be doing on the day trading session coming in on November the fifteenth. There's our number right there. There's your three eight two, okay? And if that happens, that is equivalent to a perfect Gartley buy or sell at the 382 retracement coming in at 34152. That's what it's looking at, okay? 34152. If we look at this on the E-mini S&P, we'll come over here and see what it's doing here. This is the daily. Now we're going to go down and do the four minute just like we did before. Okay, there was your first 382 retracement of the morning right there. Hold on one second. There it is. It's drawn in wrong, but let's get it up here so we can see it because I was doing the Dow Jones. So there was your first 382 right there at 90, 97. Okay, 97 was the number. And it went from 97 all the way down to 76. Okay, now look at this. We Oh, this is interesting. Now, see, we're already above. We're already above the 382 in the uh, Dow Jones by a considerable amount. You see, there it is right here. That came in at 87. Your 50% came in here, but that completed the ABCD right here. We just completed it, I believe. Let's check out for sure. There's the AB leg. There's your CD leg. Uh, yeah, that's it about there. There's the, it should have completed right about here. The easier, the easier one for most folks would be the Dow Jones to do that because it is, uh, you know, it's, it, it's not as wild. These are, of course, $25 per tick. The Dow Jones is only $5 per tick, but that's something that you might want to pay attention to. Okay, now let's look at one that didn't work last night because we always have to watch the ones that we're looking at. And here's where we are here. I said in the video, I said, look at crude oil. I had a real chance here, folks. Let me get this down here on the daily. Okay, I thought that we had a chance down here to make a bottom down here at one of these numbers, either 79.28 or 7601, you see what's way below it. We're trading a, a dollar below the lowest target. But as you can see here, we kept breaking down. But if you followed, now I don't always do this, but when you when you follow what you're supposed to do, you're going to be far better off. Okay, there, there was the buy. Here's where the buy was right here. We bought this on the pullback right here. We had our stop right there. So we got out, I lost uh, 44 points for uh $440. Then the market breaks down and makes new lows below all the other lows. All you had to do, folks, I didn't see this till later, is to go back. Let me get this up here so we can see it a little bit clear. 
Oh, what did I do here? Hold on a second here. I think this is the one I was looking at. I hope I did it on the right time frame. Let's double check here from the high down to your low. Uh, no, that's not it. It's got to be this one here. So hold on just a second here so I can spread this out and see it. Yeah, there's our high right here. Then we make a new low. So you have your, your high up in here. And you came back. And where did you go to? Right there. Took an hour to get there. Right at the 382. And look, look what's happened. It's already dropped. Uh, three times as much. I missed it because I was busy doing other things. And anyway, that's neither here nor there. But that's what happens when you miss it. But that's the, the the theory is, you know, once you've made new lows, these rally backs are 382 rallies because you're trading against the trend if you're trying to buy. Okay, it was okay to try it down here. But once it fails, it's telling you that something's not right. You know, and you just don't want to stand in front of that puppy, you know. That's the tough part. All right, let's take a look at one that. Uh, oh, we got it. We'll do the bonds in just a minute because they're rocking and rolling over here. Let's get this up here to see where we are. Okay, see, we keep trying to sell this 382. We missed it by about four bucks today. We didn't get anywhere near the 382 off of that last number right back here. We probably hit it off of this one. Let's just double check. Yeah, we hit it off of that little one, but see, I I did. Wow, that's a long. That's a lot of hours too. I should have. Uh, yeah, see, that was the three eight two off of this one that we missed by about two dollars, and then now uh, I missed it about four dollars. So anyway, all you can do now is see where we should get some support here in the gold. Let's just go to the four hour, because uh, there's where we're coming down here. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the three eight two of the whole gamilla here, folks. Let's just clean this out and take a quick look at it from the high, okay? We see that head and shoulders and all that stuff, but let's get rid of this one so we can see where our number is going to come in. And let's get rid of this one here because we want to get rid of that and move this over here. And now we're going to be getting close to where we're really going to get ready to, to buy this if it's any good. And we are pretty close. There's our number, folks, in the gold, 1944. That's a 382 coming in off of that big monster bottom that we went from 1826 up to, we rallied, wow, $200 an ounce. And now we're backing off here at 9044. And from there to there, that's 44 to 09. That's $64. Folks, we got three things going for us here on this one. All right, this is a harmonic number right here. Harmonic number is is 32 in the gold times 2 e times 2 equals 64 and 64. Uh, then you have the high is uh, let's get this up here so I see what I'm doing. High was 212. Whoops, 2012. Try it again, Larry. My great typer, as you can see. 2012, and then you can add $64 to that, or subtract $64 from that, and that's going to take you to right there, folks. There's where you want to be, okay? So let's pay attention to that one. We'll be right back. I have to get some water, and uh, we'll continue the show. Mike Moore is our guest at the break, so stay with us. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're talking about the gold here. This is the December gold contract, and we are approaching the 382 of the whole move that happened back from October the 6th. You know, that's when the war started. Gold rallied $200 an ounce into that thing, and I, <laughs> I don't watch the news much anymore, but I'm not seeing any indications that things are changing over there, so who knows. But anyway, we're going to be coming down here $64 from the high right here at uh, 1944. Uh, the actual 64 is 32 times uh, 2. Okay, that's a harmonic number, and boom, that would take you. Subtract this from that high, that takes you to 1949. And the 382 on the whole move, which we want to take the biggest place at, is right buying it there at 1944. Uh, that's where I'd be buying it a dollar higher, 1945. And I've got to risk 1935. You got to risk a thousand dollars. But that, that, that's you know, if you can't buy that 382, you can't buy anything. Okay. So anyway, that's what I'm looking at. Oh, we look at should look at a couple other things on this. Let's just blow this up a little bit because I see something there that's interesting here. Because we did have this move right here, and I believe we're already through the 1.618 of that. Uh, oh, we're right there right now. So there's the 1.618 of this move right here. That might give it some uh, some type of a bottom in here, folks. But frankly, I think that uh, we're going to get down to this level. So I'm going to wait for this, uh, you know, right here. That's what I want to be doing. We are making the, the 1.618 here, which should give it a little bit of help. But I'm going to be buying at 1945. That's the 382. I like the 382. It doesn't work all the time. But golly, when it does... It really looks good. Let's look at one that we did yesterday that did not work out very well. Let's get this up here so we can see it here. Now, this is the, if you remember, we were watching the Treasury bonds yesterday. This is a really good example when 382, or when, when these markets, <laughs> hold on just a second here. I have an ABCD here yesterday as I was on the air. We were selling at uh, 1401. We had a stop at 14.08. We lost uh, six, seven tick, six ticks on that. That was a total of $180. Look, we went all the way up here to 12, and then we came down to this level right here. Look at this, folks. This this took several hours. It took about six hours for this to get down to this level right here. And if you believe in those darn 3.82s off the bottom, 
there it was right here. Now, this is the middle of the night, and if you're up in the middle of the night and you see that, that's a really nice one. Plus, you have a, an ABCD forming in here, and now we're getting ready to make that high up here that's going to give us a high coming up here in bonds. There's where we are right there. Uh, that 382 was right there at 1319. The, 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 the number low was uh, 1315, and this is where we are now. Now this is going to be an ABCD coming here. No question about it. it looks where we're, you can see where we're going, 1510. So we go back and we take our low back here. Whoops, try to do it upside down, Larry. There's your low right here. There's your high. And there's your price objective up here is getting close here. Uh, I say I'll go with the 1.618, but I have to be a seller there, folks. Fifth, whoa, that's not the one I wanted. Hold on there, cowboy. We want to do this. We want to set that up there. 1618. Now, what we want to do now is go down to the four hour and see where we are because we are still going higher. You see, there's that. Uh, there's that bottom last night that we were looking at, okay? Plus, we had a 382 here off of this one. Do you remember? There's your there's your 382 right there. So this thing's going higher. Might go a lot higher because, you know, the whole world's been bearish bonds for a long time. But now we could be getting up into this area here. You, you Folks, <laughs> it's frustrating as hell. I'll tell you why. You know, I was bullish as hell on these damn things. And I didn't get filled down there. Uh, I had an order in at 03, and it only got to 04, and it took off like a rocket. And I said it's got the possibility of going up here to 123. Well, we're eight handles up in two weeks, okay, from 15, 7, 07 to 15. We're there right now, and that's where we're probably going to be going. And if it gets there, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be as frustrated as heck. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to right now, that uh, it is going to be going higher. I hope that helps, and we'll see a little bit more of what we're looking at here. Uh, pretty good. Let's take a quick look here at these markets to see how they're doing here. Get up here since I'm in this. Uh, where is it here? Oh, here it is. Okay, here is, is the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones never came up to anywhere near uh, – our level, you see, it didn't make it. The S and P made it. The S and P made the 50 percent. The Dow didn't do it. It just backed off a little bit. Uh, yet it's still a little early, of course. But let's take a quick look here at the old. Uh, come on, get out of the way here. Here we are. Got too much in here, but I'm trying to teach as we go. So we'll see. Okay, there's what we went to. That one did okay. See, it went up to the 50 percent. Dow couldn't even make the other. And then we're, we're, I'll do the NASDAQ in just a minute. Then the market backed off a little bit, but not very much. So we have to wait and see if we start clearing above here. Let's just check the NASDAQ to see how it did today. Those of you that like to do that, we'll just use a just use a, uh, we'll use a 15 minute. That'll be good enough. Okay, here's the NASDAQ. We wanted to do the first 382 retracement. And I believe we got that without any trouble at all from your high down to your low. Your first 382 retracement came in here, hit it twice. Bada bing, bada boom, right there. And now we've made new lows, right? So we have a new 382, which are already gone above that. I don't think by much, though. Oh, uh, yeah, we went up to the 50% level. See, we went up to, in fact, we're almost back there, too. So we started getting above this, folks. <laughs> this thing's not over. But, you know, like I said, if you wanted to try to, to see if this is a top day, the best way to do that is to use the 3A2 as your gauge to do that. So the, the reason why, folks, it's risk control. At 3A2, you don't have to risk very much. If you try to pick a top up there at 4408, you know, that's not going to do you any good because that doesn't mean it's going to be a top. If you thought there was a top up here, you know, if you looked at this, Let's just. This is a four. Let's go to an eight minute. That's you can see something a little better. Yeah, you can see how you have lots of small A B C Ds in here. Okay, no question about that. But which one, which one do you pick for the high? Now the only other thing you can do is to see what the from the high to the low last night came in right there. Okay, so the first number that you'd be watching would be a 1.27 expansion of this move right here, and it came in right there. Sell the 382 retracement, sure, that's okay. Selling it lower, but at least you're, you're trading in the direction of the trend. Now, 
there's probably some nice ABCDs. There's a 1.27 in here. Let's see if we can find it, all right? I'm, I, I've looked at so many, I have a pretty good idea of what it is. You got from your high down to your low. Now, this is going to be your 382 retracement right here, folks, right there. There's your 382 retracement, and that gets you up to 05, high at 08. So that's another way of looking at it. But I looked at it from the Dow Jones perspective because it was a little weaker, and that's all I was interested in uh, looking at. I think we got a uh, guest coming up here pretty shortly. Let me double check to see where the old clock on the wall is. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we've got Mike Moore on the line, and... Uh, Mike is going to be a happy camper, I would think, because we had you on 10 days ago, and you said this market in the crude oil looks like it's headed lower, and lower is where it's been. We were talking about $100 oil uh, on Bloomberg about two weeks ago. We're, what happened to that, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, here's a good here's a good indication of why I follow technicals and uh, not necessarily fundamentals. Because sure. if, if most people would say this is the last time that they would think that oil would be be heading south, but nonetheless, let's take a look. Um, you bet. Let's start out with crude oil, then do uh, heating oil and, and gasoline too. Then we'll do them all. Can you see my chart? Okay. I think so. Coming in pretty good. Okay, so the crude oil obviously has been coming off for a number of days. So I'm just going to do a little backup here just to remind us from where, where we have come from. Uh, being on the show, we had broken below a formation here, which projected us lower. Another one here pulled up to it twice. Another bearish formation here. And this formation right here is a very significant formation. This has, uh, you know, major implications for the downside. We came off, we pulled right back up to it here again, and then continued to come off. So just sort of um, summarizing those to begin with, we got bearish. If you remember on past shows up in here, when we fell back down below 94.15. So we'd seen uh, $17.93 from that. And then we had another projection from 84.45 to the downside for a dollar 90 minimum, 770 plus maximum. We attained 8.23 of that, and then plus a good deal more this morning. And then the trade below 83 even projects us downward 2.30 minimum, 12 dollars and 10 cents plus maximum. We attained 6.78 of that this morning, and then another dollar or so here today. Um, and also when I say uh, Twelve dollars and ten cents maximum. What that means is certain formations give a minimum and a maximum. But if the market is trending in that direction, obviously you can get far more than what the maximum mm -hmm. is. So we're in a steady decline. And yesterday, um, especially in the Brent here, I had noted on the, the podcast that if we if the Brent had broken below, um, give me a second. Uh, 8295, it changed the structure here, and it suggested that this would be a much more extended structure to the downside. So we've seen a good piece of that from 8295. We're still coming off down to the 8083 area right now. So I'm bearish unless this really uh, turns around, holds an exhaustion level. We are coming down to some ex uh, significant exhaustion down here below um, <clears throat> at uh, 7426th. And these, these exhaustion levels are the kind of the levels you buy against, you pay for the trade. If it goes back down through it, they don't, no harm, no foul, and just uh, resume your bearishness. But if they do hold, um, sometimes you can get substantial bounces. You said you wanted to – you have any questions on that? that or you no, that's okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the questions that someone's asked is uh, they're talking about, uh, you know, the price of gasoline has been coming down in certain cities. We've dropped about – 60 or 70 cents a gallon here in the last right. uh, two or three weeks. Uh, is there any level down there that uh, would, you know, say this is uh, all bets off if it starts going below that level in gasoline? Let, what, could we do gasoline next so we could take a look at sure. that? Sure. So on my chart, you know, our Bob here, this is basically unleaded gasoline, okay? Just a different, different term for it. Um, we have been we've been bearish in the unleaded gas mm -hmm. actually since we held exhaustion at four dollars and thirty two point six zero or four point three two and we rolled over two dollars and thirty cents and then we had a massive move down, then rallied, and then more recently we held exhaustion at two sixty nine twenty four with a two seventy twenty one high and rolled over fifty five point four five cents. And then another piece of that today. So I won't bother you with going through the different bearish projections that we've had in here. Uh, we've had a number of them for six cents minimum, 23 cents maximum. And then most recently, uh, the trade below 219.16 projects this downward four cents minimum, 21 cents maximum, 21 cents plus maximum. We detained 440 of that this morning and then another piece of that today. Um, now, if we were to trade back up through this line, then everything, I'd be out of all shorts and I would be long. That line's going to come in at 219.45, 219.45 plus one tick per hour. 
starting at 1 o'clock p.m. And that would set us up for a break above this upper formation here, which comes in at 221.96. 221.96 minus 5 ticks per hour, uh, starting at the same time. But outside of that, we're bearish. Uh, everything's bearish in here um, well, uh, across the complex, and we've we've got substantial large structures above. So uh -huh. we do have some exhaustion levels down below. We we be monitoring down in here. So here's the other here's the other thing. Now I just went from a 60 minute chart up to a, a daily chart. That's why all these weird lines look all funny. But just disregard that. The final, the final exhaustion level this has to hold is uh, 209.42 to 206.98. If we take this out, then this is likely going to head down to 195.39 and probably lower than that. And if we really, if we really take out this this whole supportive structure in here, then it's, you know this thing could really continue to come off. Okay, that makes good Any sense. Questions? Yeah, I have a question for one of our listeners. I'll repeat it to you. Uh, the question is: the the people that are in the uh, the oil business, you know, the gas stations and the refiners and stuff, are are they getting hurt? This is his, and I don't know the answer to this. Are they getting hurt with this big drop in uh, crude oil and, and gasoline? And uh, are Bob or do they hedge themselves at higher prices? Or is there an answer for that? <laughs> yeah, a lot of them are getting hurt. Well, first of all, a lot of people in gas stations make more of their money off of the convenience store that's attached to the gas station than they do the gas. The problem is when the markets are coming off, usually they're buying at a discount from their distributor, and they have, depending on how fast they get rid of their gas, they're getting replenished every 24 to 48 hours. So if the market's coming off hard and they're buying at a certain price, the value of that is going against them very quickly. And a lot okay. of them aren't equipped to uh, hedge their purchases um, adequately. It's interesting that you asked that, actually, because I actually built a program to help um, individual gas stations hedge their purchases more effectively. But uh, when we did it to scale, it just the business model for it it just seemed to be too much hassle to put it all together. But yeah. I don't know if that answers your question. But it does. Hey, we got to take a break here, Mike. Stay with us, yeah. okay? Okay, thank Mike Moore of More Analytics, folks. He'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. And, Mike, uh, let's talk about gold. Do you, can you pull that up for us? Sure. As you were also bearish on the gold market a few weeks ago, too, so maybe we can figure out where you think it might hold up here. Okay. So, uh, yes, the gold, we just left a significant bear, uh, bearish gap lower here the other day and then rolled back over. This is the 60-minute chart, I believe, we were looking at last time. So we were, we were, we've been bullish since the break above this major formation in here, just to give a little background. And that, that major formation, um, I mean, we've been bullish since October 6th, but the break above that formation projects us upward $22 minimum, 114 plus maximum, and we only attained 78.8 of that so far. So that has not been violated that. That has not been violated yet, but all that's on hold in the trade below 20.06.20 projected this downward 27 minimum. We detained 43.4 of that so far, and then we're getting another piece of that today. Uh, that was the break below this line. We broke below this one and then broke below another formation. So this is currently bearish. Uh, there is an exhaustion level here I'd be paying attention to at 1944.80 to uh, 1946.20. And then a more significant one right down here at 1923.70 to 1921.60. If we really come off, this would be an excellent place to, bounce, to buy it on a, for a bounce first because this is also where the neckline of that major formation comes in, right there, right at those exhaustion okay. levels. If we take this formation out decently on the downside, that changes the entire picture. Then this thing will likely just plummet and probably head back down towards the 1823.50 area um, and, and maybe lower, even though there's other exhaustion levels down here. I think that if the decent break below this, uh, will propel it down through these. So this would be a real key, key place to buy. If you wanted to buy with a, a relatively uh, moderate risk, I don't think your risk would have to be more than uh, $10. Yeah. $10. You have to risk no. that just about in gold because it jumps around so much. Gold and crude oil. Yeah, I, I think this also, if this goes back up bucks. through this formation, then this is poised to head for the highs and take it out again. Okay. And that formation okay. comes in at um, 1990.30. And that increases by one tick per hour. Sorry, I had that at the wrong spot. Excuse me. Let me try that again. As of 1.30, that comes in at 1991.10 plus, plus one tick per hour. 
<laughs> well, to explain the one tick per hour thing, that, that, that's troubled me a little bit when I hear you talk about that because I, I know time is very elusive, but one tick per hour, I mean, that in, in the S&P, I mean, it, one tick per hour, I mean, it's got a range in one hour, probably six or eight points. What does one tick per hour mean when you're looking oh. at uh, – one tick, a tick is the smallest increment yeah. that a commodity moves in. So in this case, it's gold. So gold, its smallest increment ten. that it moves in is 10 cents. So yeah. one tick would Got be it. 10 yeah. cents. Yeah. So that would be going from 1991.10 to 1991.20 as of the following hour. hour. In one hour. But let's say right. that you're looking at it between 1919 to 1920, that $10 there. But what happens if it's like thirty-six dollars? It's way past one tick per hour. That tells you that it's more bullish. Can, can you ask that one more time, sir? I don't think I okay. understood. Okay. No. If you're if you if you're calculating certain things to go at one tick per hour, and you think right. in that hour it's supposed to move, let's say, goes from nineteen twenty to nineteen thirty, goes ten dollars in one hour. Now, if your prediction says it's only going to go you know, three dollars in that hour. Does that mean that it's that much more bullish? No, I mean, first of all, these aren't going to move. You know, the, these lines are not going to move at that steep a rate. I mean, a very steep rate would be five ticks an hour. That would be fifty cents an hour. You know, um, okay. when I say down here, you know, you'd have to risk ten dollars below here. I'm saying roughly right now. I mean, right now, a decent penetration is six dollars and ninety cents. Right. Okay. I don't know what the Good. volatility right. is going to look like here, but I imagine your risk below it's probably not going to be more than ten dollars. But your bounce from here may be could be significant. Could be all the way back up to these highs. We'd have to see. Okay, that I'm makes sure sense. Now I, I understand. Now. Exactly, I understand. But. Well, that's actually a pretty good concept to think about because you know if it's moving fast, you're going to get more dollars per hour, more ticks per hour. Oh well, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me let me just. Uh, I see what you're saying. So the, the 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 trend line is moving at one tick per hour. What that means for the trader is if you're putting a purchase above there by, let's say today would be $6.90, uh, $6 you'd have to put it above where that line comes in this hour at 1991.10. But as of 2.30, you'd have to put it up $6.90 above 1991.20 and you would have to put your <laughs> risk back below it by that same amount and move that risk up by one tick per hour does that make sense that so it really has sense. to do with yes. where where you're putting yeah. your entry of your trade and where you're putting your okay. risk of your trade okay very good very good how about treasury bonds can you uh, take a look at treasury bonds for us uh, I don't really analyze the Treasury. Well, that's, bonds, that's we right. You look at it because we did last about, time, and I think I said we broke below a massive bearish formation. Yeah, I still got it on here. So we okay, broke below this formation here, pulled back up to it, and I said that that was uh, significantly bearish, and we had projections down, uh, down into this area, down in here. So, and since then we've rolled over pretty good. We've held this initial exhaustion level that I warned about, though, on a lower time frame, just about exactly. Uh, that comes right in here in the lows there and we pop it a little bit. So we might see a little bit of a uh, bullish correction against this move down, but if we don't take this line out and it rolls over again, that could start a whole new bearish structure to the downside. Okay. If we take that line out on the upside, then this whole thing is poised to head back up towards the highs. Okay, can we take a look at natural gas? Sure. And let me know if you wanted to look at the S and P's too, because they have some. some we'll do that after the natural gas if we could. We've got yeah. another minute and a half to go, so we're okay. So the natural gas here. Um, okay. We got bearish. I said the trade below 346.90 has brought in 460 ticks of pressure. And the decent break, break below 320.60 projects this down with 400 ticks plus. We detained 197 ticks of that this morning. Let me just take a look. That was the break below this formation right here. Pulled back up, and now we saw a little bit more of it today. If we break back below, above this line decently, that should be an excellent place to get out of all shorts, whether they're long-term or short-term. I would get long, and I'd be looking for a rally probably of at least 500 ticks. 
That line wow. comes in at um, 320.50 and probably comes in at 320.40 tomorrow. Okay. Take a quick, quick oh, we gotta, we got to leave now, but uh, stay with us, and we've got another break coming up here, and then we'll do the last minute, or so we'll do the S&P, okay? Yep, sounds good. We'll be right back with Mike Moore of More Analytics, folks. Stay tuned, please. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and we need more of the S&P 500, Mike. <laughs> okay, can you see my screen okay? I think we're doing good, yes. Okay, so just as a little refresh, going back to the viewers that have watched the past shows, we got bearish below this formation, bearish below this formation, bearish below this line here. And then on this other chart, we took out that major formation we talked about right here. We came all the way off, and then we held an exhaustion level that we had on the lows here and have been bouncing ever since. So I'm just going to bring you up to date from the bounce on here. So I said we held exhaustion there at 41.15 with the 41.22 and a quarter low and bounced 281 points. That was that low right there at 41.22.75. Then when we broke back above this formation, I also said to get long. So we said that came in at 42.77.75. We've seen 125.5 of that so far. 
-hmm. And then we also broke back above this significant formation here. That has significant consequences in here. I said the solid penetration we just made above 43.16.93 to 28.74, put this back above a substantial formation that warns of higher trade for days slash weeks with a good likelihood for a run for 44, 30, 50 plus. We'd seen 74.5 of that so far this morning. Sure have. <laughs> and uh, the only thing that would really change this picture is if we really fail back down through those lines right now, those lines are going to come in at 43.38.62 to 43.26.67, and those increase at 13 per hour starting okay. at uh, 1.30 p.m. Okay, tell the folks tell the folks how they can reach you, Mike. Um, yeah, you can reach me. I'm sorry, I don't have my page up here, but you can reach me at More Analytics. That's spelled M O O R A N A L Y T I C S. Or you can reach me. Give me a call. My number six four six seven zero eight four six one two. Be happy to talk with you. Thanks, Mike. We're going to have you on again yeah. soon. Keep the faith and keep up the good work. Thank you, Larry. You too. Thanks, everybody. We love you. Here. Talk to you later, buddy. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, folks. May God bless.